Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're going to go over Uranium, do a daily technical analysis update. Uh, we had some pretty good moves uh, out there in some of these stocks. They looked very strong. Uh, the Uranium Sprott price is continuing to move higher, uh, so that's good. We're kind of getting through that 40-ish dollar range, uh, which could be one of the last resistance areas. There's maybe a few more. And then I don't know what's going to happen because if if money continues to pile into uranium, I'm talking it piles in, and they run out of physical inventory at a lot of these prices. Let's say it continues to pile in. <clears throat> They've got bids out there, but there's no physical uranium. What happens at that point? <clears throat> that's that's my question. I I don't know what happens at that point, guys. Does, does it just continue to go up? Does it stop? Do they look at each other and say, no more physical? <laughs> and they just get money that continues to pile into the, the trust? Be interesting to see how this all works. So what I'm doing, I'm just holding on. Uh, I'm watching paint dry, I guess. Click and refresh on the, uh, the account button. So I'm not buying or selling. Uh, I'm just holding on, watching, watching the Sprott price. I'm going to continue to say Sprott price uh, and, and, and see how these miners react to it. So let's jump in here. I'll give you my financial opinion. That's all it is. It's not advice. So here we go. This is the current uh, Sprott price was 4040. We're right there at that resistance. We're kind of peeking out a little bit. I think we're probably going to break through it at any time. Looking at some of the prices, we had 40, 50, and 41. Uh, for September 2021, money was piling into the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust, creating that squeeze that we thought would happen. <clears throat> Looking at URNM, uh, we have the two doll small down days and then the punch higher with massive volume. So we, we came up, pulled back a little bit, boom, punched. Got kicked, kicked higher. Now, that's a big move. CCJ again moving on higher. Looks good. Big volume. Next gen big volume moving higher. I'd like to see this thing close a little bit stronger. <clears throat> that's that's what we've got. Fission uranium. My God. Now 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 this one looks fantastic. It it paused, and then punched through massively and what we have up here is a resistance line and i call fission hulk smash because it blew through this resistance line like nothing this is a samurai sword cutting through butter just right through it so hulk smash good job fission we've got denison mines here again nice big move higher we're in that buck 50 to buck 60 range we just got to get out of this area i think it's looking pretty good good volume uexcf nice up day today playing with its 52 week highs it looks like looking at a bigger term perspective which i like to do all the time uh we're, we're coming right through this line here that's about where we're at and i'm just trying to see what resistance there's a little bit of resistance in here it's a little sticky it's got to get through here. Sky Harbor Resources, again, we're, we're, we're looking great. I mean, we're kind of coming through this area, punching through it. It came up and paused, rested a little bit, and then punched right through this resistance area. Big long-term perspective on Sky Harbor. Again, we are flying higher. We just broke out of this little resistance area here, and here is coming up too. So if you were to draw this line this way, that's where we're trying to attack right now. Trying to get through here. We'll see what happens, uh, but we're right at that resistance level. Can Alaska, again, we, we kind of pulled back a little bit, punched higher, good volume. This one has a little more work ahead of it. Now this one is what I call the touch and go. Uh, we came down, we touched it, and hopefully we can go up now. And this is exactly like this beamer. It's touch and go on the wall. 
Just barely touching. Uh, we got Pure Point Uranium looking good, strong, 12.5% update, coming back against its resistance level of about 12 cents. We've got Fission 3.0. Again, we're going right at the high 52 week high here. A uh, good update here. We have a little bit of a wick at the top. It's getting pretty volatile in this spot here, but lots of volume. Asian Court just taken off, looking fantastic from this bottom here. So that looks good for a move higher. ALX Uranium's looking good. A uh, nice, good 12.5% update. Broke its downtrend, moving on higher. We've got Form Energy Metals Corporation. I, I got this resistance line here that we just cut right through. We've got some sellers up here looking at it from a bigger picture view. We do have some resistance above it. We just got to get through it. That's where we're getting stuck. Standard Uranium, we broke out of this pattern here to the upside, kind of came back, do like a little bit of a back test, and we'll see if this thing takes off. It's going to be a fun week next week to see what these things do. Forces Metals, looking pretty good. What we did is we, I drew this line in here, we broke out, back tested, and hopefully we take off here. Come on, baby. Here's Forces Metals. Looking at it from a big picture view, we still have some overhead resistance here. A little bit. So we got some work to do. Now, Bannerman, my goodness, look at this day, 18.5%. I, I did this a little bit before market close. Some resistance in here at 16, 17 cents. Blew through that. Big picture, and this is what came to mind to me. This is from Fast and Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, that's what it was. It says, gotta go, dog. And when he hits the, the nitrous button and goes by Paul Walker. But uh, you can see the breakout of this resistance line right here. This is looking really good. And we could probably come up to this area here pretty quick, which we might have already done that. So that looks good. Uh, deep yellow, again, this one's looking pretty good. We're right there trying to make these 52-week highs, it looks like. Uh, we're coming up. We got some resistance in here at 60 cents. It looks like we're getting away from it. We are close to a, to a nice little breakout here for deep yellow. Goviax, nice 11.34% update today. Backing out a little bit because that's the picture I like to see. We've got the resistance line cutting right through it. Samurai sword like butter. Right through it. Global Atomic breaking its 50. That, this might be an all time high actually. Broke out, back test a little bit, and we'll see if we take off here. Volume stepping in. I like, I like Global Atomic quite a bit. UEC looking good. We still got some more work above it, though. A little wick at the top, meaning that it traded up. It opened here, traded up, came down, and closed here. Good volume, but we still have some overhead resistance in here. UUUU, again, we've got some overhead resistance, a little wick at the top. Good volume stepping in. We just need buyers to continue to pummel it higher. URG, it's the same story for this as well, coming up on the, the highs here. Get a little bit of resistance. Uranium Royalty Corp, this one looks really good. I like it. We got the resistance line here, resistance support. Broke through, came back, touched it, and then we're moving on higher. Good volume. Centris Energy looking good. Uh, we got Laramide. Laramide looks good from a big picture view. I'm going to back out here because this looks really good on the short term. Long term looking good. It looks like we're breaking through this resistance area as in here. We could move higher if, if the buying pressure continues. We could we could launch here. And keep that that move going. Encore Energy again. We came back, back tested, popped higher today. Long term view looks fantastic to move higher if we get the continued buying pressure. Not much resistance above us. Boss Energy. <clears throat> All I'm going to say is who's the boss? 25% today. Good job, Boss Energy. What it did is it came into this resistance in here, came up, hit the, the sellers, pulled back, then punched higher. Good looking chart, good move. 
Peninsula Energy playing with its all-time highs here, it looks like. Pretty dang close. Looking good. Blue Sky Uranium. Look at that. Pulled higher, pulled back, and then punched higher with a big, huge, bullish engulfing pattern. Let's see if the momentum can continue. So that's what I've got for the, for the day, guys. I mean, Uranium looks ultra strong. Uh, let's just see if the the uranium sprout price continues higher next week. If it does, I'm willing to bet that a lot of volume is going to continue to pile into uranium. Remember, making money means that you don't sell or you don't buy. You just hold on. Holding is where you make the money. You have to be able to hold through this. It's very easy when it's going up, but the volatility could shake people out. So I'm holding on. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I, I I've got my shares. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. And I'm just going to hold through it. And hopefully, uh, you know, I, I enjoy the ride uh, moving up. And hopefully all you guys enjoy the ride. If you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.